Hey guys, it's Jane. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna share with you another success of Chinese characters or kanji. So, let's start off with this kanji. It's onyomi are jo and sho. And it's konyomi are ue and a no. Agiru no a. Okay, so ue guys means up or above. Okay, so the examples that I have for you are agiru. Only the a is written in this kanji and then geru is in hiragana guys ageru means put something up for example you want your students to raise their hands te wo agite kudasai agite means please raise your hands okay so guys this is how you write ue one two three guys usually Chinese characters are written horizontally first, but this kanji is, I think, a special kanji because we write first vert a vertical line. Okay, so the other example that I have for you is joge. Joge. Guys, the ge is from this kanji, which is our second kanji. If you combine them together, joge, ue, plus shita. Guys, even though if you cannot read this kanji, but when you see it, like, shita, ue, and shita, ah, up and down. Even though you can't read it, but you have the image that this kanji is ue and shita, up and down. So, but the, the reading is joge. Again, joge means up and down. Okay, so guys, those are the examples that I have for you for our first kanji. Our second kanji, if we have ue or up, we have shita, shita or down. Okay, so this is our second kanji. It's onyomi is ge. Saki no joge. Yes, ge. And then it's another onyomi is ka. And the konyomi are shita means down or to go down. Asageru means to go down or just down okay so this is how you write shita. Shita. so one two and then three okay so again this is the kanji for shita. if you see this kanji alone it can mean shita, which means down and this one let's go back here if you see this kanji alone it means ue or up okay so the examples that i have for you are sagiru sa only the sa is written in this kanji and then the geru ge this is ke plus ten ten then this hiragana becomes ge sage ru Since this one means shita, shita, so it means, sagiru means go down, to go down. Or let's say you want your students to, to put their hands down. Te wo sagite kudasai. Te, te is hand. Te wo sagite kudasai. Please put your hands down. Okay? The other example that I have for you is gesha. Gesha. Guys, Another reading for this kanji is ge. So when you partner this shita kanji to kuruma. Okay, so let's write ge first. So this is shita and then kuruma. Kuruma. Kuruma means car. So when you partner shita and kuruma, the reading is gesha. Gesha. Now let's use our imagination. So when you see this kanji, uh, go down, and then this kanji kuruma car. So it means oh kuruma car, and then shita. Oh, it means getting off. So guys, again, gesha means getting off. Okay, so guys, we are done with our second kanji. Our third kanji is this one. 
this one. It's Onyomi R. Say, say and show. And it's Konyomi R. Masa. And Tadashi I no. Tadadake ga kono kanji ne. Okay, so this is how you write this kanji. So, one, two, three, four, five. So this is Tada or Masa. Guys, in Japan, the way you write the numbers, let's say you wanna, not numbers, but pointing system, for example, we, or maybe Americans as well, and also Filipinos, for example, there is a game and you wanna write the points on the board, you do this, right? One, two, three, four, five. This is how we write the points. But in Japan, my lights, or anyway, in Japan, we write this way. So if we wanna write one point, it's one, one point, two points, three points, four points, and five points. So yeah, this is how we write in Japan when it comes to like pointing system okay so anyway let's go back here the example that i have for you is tada shii tada so again this kanji is the kanji for tada this is tada and then shii is in hiragana shii shii tada shii tada shi the she so you have to elongate the she because there is double i so it's she it's not she the the she the the she means right or correct guys if you pronounce this as just the the she it's a name it's my husband's name okay so one more time you have to elongate the she sound so it should be the the she ah the the she this ne Oh, you're right, something like that. But if you wanna say, ah, oh, your name is Tadashi. Tadashi desu ka? That is, are you Tadashi? So that is the new ones, okay? So when you see this I, it means you have to elongate. Tadashi, okay? So the next one that I have for you is the word shogatsu. Shogatsu. So aside from tadashi or tada no, tadashi no tada, you can also read this kanji as sho. So let's write sho. Sho plus gatsu or gatsu yobi na. Gatsu. Shogatsu. It means new year. Shogatsu new year. Okay, so those are the examples that I have for you for this third kanji. So our next kanji is this. this one. Okay, so it's onyomi is u and you. So this kanji's onyomi is you. So it means you have to elongate the u sound. So it's you. It's not you. You you and then it's konyomi when you see this kanji alone it's konyomi is migi guys migi means right so the example that i have for you for that kanji is the word usetsu, usetsu. U. this kanji U. one of the konyomi usetsu Usetsu. Guys, usetsu means, usetsu means turn right. So this is how you write migi. Yes, one, two, three, and then kuchi. This is migi. Again, usetsu. So how do you use usetsu in a sentence? For example, someone is driving and you want him or her to turn right. Usetsu shite kodasai. So it means turn right, please. Okay, so that is the example that I have for you. And the other one is migi te. So if we have migi, this kanji, and then if we have te, so this is migi, migi te, migi right, and then te is hand. 
So migite means right hand. Okay, so guys, the, those are my examples for this kanji. So if we have right, of course, we have left kanji as well. Okay, so let me erase this one first. Okay, so for this kanji, it's onyomi is sa. And it's konyomi is hidari or left. Guys, if you see this kanji alone, it means hidari. Again, means left. So this is how you write hidari. One, two, three, four, and then five. So this is hidari. The example that I have for you is if we have turn right, we also have turn left, which is sa setsu. This is sa se and then tsu. Sa setsu. Again, how do you use sa setsu in a sentence? Again, if someone is driving and you want her or him to turn left, all you have to do is sa setsu shite kodasai. It means turn left. Okay, so the other example that I have for you is what else? Hidari ashi, right foot. Ah, sorry, left foot. Hidari, hidari plus ashi. This is hidari, and then ashi, small kuchi. So hidari, hidari ashi, left foot. Our left leg is also okay. So we are done with our fifth, fifth kanji. Okay, so our last kanji is the kanji for hayai. Guys, hayai means fast. Now I'm... Oh! Wait a minute. Sorry guys, someone just came to give me this, so very sorry. This is about maybe Jehovah's Witness, maybe? Okay, so anyway, I'm just gonna put this down. Okay, so guys, I'm in a hurry because my students are gonna come. <sighs> I'm in a hurry. Okay, so this kanji, it's onyomi is so, and it's konyomi is sak. Just like hidari, sak, sak. And then it's konyomi is hayai no haya. Haya dake kono kanji desu ne? Ah, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, uh, five, six. Hayai. So this is hayai. This is how you write hayai. One, two, three, four, five, and then this six. The examples that I have for you are hayakuchi. Haya. Hayai. Haya means fast. It can also mean early. Haya plus kuchi. Haya kuchi means haya kuchi means fast, rapid, fast or rapid talking. And then the other one that I have for you is hayai, means fast or early. For example, if your student came early, you can say, ah. Oh, you are early today. Okay, guys, so those are the examples that I have for this kanji, which is our sixth kanji for today. So, guys, that's all for today, and I hope you learned something from my video, and see you soon. Goodbye!